Hello Christian Tales TV. My name is Joel Livingston. I was dead for eight minutes. It was in October 1986, and I was on my way home from work. It was late in the afternoon, and it had begun to get dark. I was on my bike, riding down a road with a long decline. The road curved to the right, and when I looked up, I saw a car coming toward me at high speed. The car took the curve wide so it was entirely on my side of the road. The autumn wind was blowing so hard that I heard the car coming toward me too late. I had no time to swerve, and a collision was unavoidable. The first thing I experienced was that everything became indescribably light. I felt weightless. I floated in a warm, soft sea of light that consisted of glistening and vibrating colored crystals. I felt light and high, but simultaneously completely calm and balanced. I was in a state of being that I had never before experienced. It was a wonderful and uplifting experience. When I looked up and around, there was only light. There was nothing to fix my gaze upon. I sought reference points in order to understand where I was and which direction was up or down. I looked down and saw my body, which to my great amazement, was completely transparent and glowed like a powerful light tube. Despite being in a light that was unbelievably stronger than the sun, I noted that I emanated a light that was even stronger. How was that possible? I learned afterward that the reason for this was that I reflected all the light around me, which shone toward my transparent, non-physical body. To focus on what was up or down, I looked down at my feet. Then the floating wave motion decreased, and I could see that I stood on a light platform surrounded by a glittering mass of light that consisted only of high and warm vibrations. When I looked around in the light before me, I began to hear voices and sounds. I became curious and wondered where I was. With the power of thought and will, I was pulled down through the light and stopped about 100 feet above the scene of the accident. Some time had elapsed since the accident occurred, and there were a lot of people standing around a young man lying on the road. When I looked more closely at him, he seemed familiar in some way. Those who stood around the young man tried to revive him. I felt their shock and hopelessness. I heard them cry out, He is dead! He is dead! There is nothing we can do! When I looked down at him, it hurt inside of me. When I encountered my own feelings, it felt as if my focus sank from my brain down to my heart and then out into and through my entire body. Then it flamed up around me. It felt as if someone sent an electric current through me, and I was connected to an entirely new and much higher energy system. I felt this very strongly. It also felt as if I were filled with an indescribable power, and for the first time, I felt as if I were completely myself. I became conscious that I am part of the divine soul, which exists in many different dimensions simultaneously. At this instant, I saw thousands of beams of light in all the most beautiful colors of the rainbow radiating out from me. It felt as if I were one with everything. Through these light beams, I could see and experience everything that took place at the accident scene, and I could know everything in an instant. I could move through solid matter as if it were air or fog. I could move through cars, trees, and more at the accident scene without even thinking about it. It was self-evident that one could do so. This is because all matter is only slowed down energy, consisting of vibrating and moving particles. Even the hardest material that exists is completely penetrable and can, in theory, admit energy from all directions. This is because there is no completely solid energy mass in the non-physical dimension I found myself in. I could see the injured young man from different sides simultaneously. I could see directly into and through his physical body which showed and told me how energy pulsed through his organs, glands, and meridians. I could see and feel his imbalances, physical and emotional pain, and injuries. I could also experience how, why, and when these had occurred. When I looked at those who helped the young man, I could see how they radiated a colored light shimmer in warm and beautiful pastel colors around them. The energy of kindness is completely delightful and fantastic to listen to if one only can tune in. It is like the most beautiful symphony. Those who were shocked at the accident scene had begun to darken with condensed energies and colors, which caused shadows around them. They felt cold, afraid, and distant from their physical bodies as they were surrounded by low vibrations and discord. When I became aware of the different individuals radiating energies and colors, 
I wondered if this radiation had something to do with what we feel and experience within ourselves. When I focused more thoroughly on the young man lying there on the ground, I noticed that he still had a strong energy radiation, despite his soul having left his body. When my radiating energies met those coming from him, there was a spark, and I could directly know his thoughts, feelings, and earlier experiences in life. Then, to my amazement, I realized that it was me lying there. At that moment, I experienced everything from the beginning. Suddenly, I was back on my bike, on my way home from work. I saw the car coming at me at high speed. I saw and heard the crash, and I felt how I flew high up in the air and how I was drawn up and out of my physical body. I experienced how I came into another dimension of life. From there, I saw how my physical body, from which I was now separated, landed on the ground a bit further away. I received a very great and important insight. We have two bodies. I became conscious that I am not my physical body, but rather, I am an energy body, the soul which is my true self. The soul lives and temporarily inhabits the physical body. We live temporarily in and through the physical body here on earth, but we are not the body. I realized that I had missed the point of my life by focusing everything on the body and completely forgetting the soul. When I released the physical body, I felt indescribably free and unburdened. I understood that everything I have experienced and gone through in life is stored in my physical body. All my concerns, fears, mistakes, and pain vanished. I felt godly, elevated, and free. After a short while, I felt a strong pull back up to the light platform that I had come from. I just relaxed and was drawn back up into the light. I felt how the light began to radiate warm vibrations toward me, and I had a feeling that I was not alone. The vibrations increased in power, and when I looked up, I saw five silhouettes that slowly appeared before me as transparent light beings. It was as if they had appeared from another dimension. The light beings were surrounded by a clean and clear crystal light. I felt a close bond with them. Meeting them was like meeting old, good friends again. It was as if I had been on a long vacation. Our light melded together, and it felt as if we had become one. We had like fireworks of pulsating and sparkling colors around us. I felt how my energy was transformed upwards, and I came into still higher vibrations of light. I felt indescribably good, and I felt myself to be truly high. The light beings introduced themselves and explained that they are my guides, those that show me the way and help me in life. We communicated without words, through radiation in beautiful, clear, and pulsating color combinations. Communication was unbelievably fast and went directly into the consciousness in its purest form. The energies lit up and pulsated in milliseconds between us. We just were, and we enjoyed the high vibrations of joined love. It was a completely indescribable feeling and experience. After a time, one of the light beings said to me, Now you are going to go on, because you are to experience what has been previously decided. They began together to focus energy on me, as if they were preparing me for the journey I was now to make into new and higher dimensions. I began to feel muted vibrations of low frequencies. I felt how I slowly sank down until I half lay in a comfortable and relaxing position. The vibrations became increasingly stronger until I was surrounded by a low-frequency darkness. Now, my friends dissolved into emptiness again. I was completely calm and was curious as to what would happen next. It felt as if an indescribable power drew me into the darkness. I traveled through a tunnel at several times the speed of light in higher dimensions. I cannot describe how long it took. They were surrounded by high vibrations which glanced and radiated out from them. They were like beautiful suns that radiated their light and positive energy onto the young man. I could hear the beautiful tones of the vibrations, which can be compared to wonderful music. It was unbelievably beautiful to see them and to experience this. I just relaxed and let myself be taken where it was intended for me to go. I now got a strong feeling and became conscious of there being no death. Death is only a transition into other and higher dimensions of life. I was transported towards a radiating light source. It was like being transported through space out into the universe. The closer I came to the light, the higher and stronger the vibrations became. When I focused on the light source, 
I received an experience that the energies moved clockwise in a spiral toward the light. The closer I came to the light, the more the strong light beams toned up before me, filling the entire sky like a huge fan. The radiating light consisted of high vibrations in the warmest and most beautiful pastel colors. Everything was surrounded and permeated by an endless crystal light. All this light came from a radiating light being with a big smile and open arms, who welcomed me. It felt like a warm reunion with my very best friend. I slowed down and stopped a few meters from him. It felt like coming home. We stood there on a high plateau in a heavenly beautiful landscape. Below, to the left, was a valley where a river flowed. Further away in the valley, I saw a powerful and clear light that one cannot describe with words. I wondered if this light could come from the famous Crystal City. The environment was so beautiful that it exceeded human understanding. The light being filled me with power, and I felt that everything in this light world was one. Everything is connected and holds together. When I stood before him and met his radiation, I experienced a euphoric feeling of freedom, love, and indescribable happiness. Many have asked me if this was Jesus that I met, but it was not. I have a clear and detailed face that I can reproduce, but for various reasons, I have chosen not to. The light being welcomed me, and we communicated telepathically. He asked me, Where is the flood of love between you who live on earth? Where is the spontaneity, happiness, laughter, and joy? You are ignorant that you live in an entirely wrong energy. You focus most on the physically bound darkness and live with conflicts and separations from yourselves and each other. Do you consider that under your short life on earth, you have time for this? So that I could better understand, he showed me pictures of how it was meant that we should live and function together from the beginning. The idea was that we should live in union, mutual understanding, and balance with each other. Life here on earth should vibrate and pulsate in the clearest colors between us of unconditional and united love. I was allowed to see life on earth from a non-physical perspective. The reality I got to see had exactly the same form as normal, but it was entirely non-material and consisted only of transparent energy. I was permitted to see how all energy bodies from people, animals, plants, and how energies from solid matter, mother earth, and the universe were bound together with beams of light. We all sit with these radiating and pulsating energies. I still retain the ability to see life from a non-physical perspective. The light being showed me how life was planned to function from the beginning here on Earth. When I experienced these energies, it felt as though one floated in the highest possible euphoria of warm, healing, and unifying feelings. I received the knowledge that we must learn to love ourselves and others, give and receive love, forgive ourselves and others, and be able to understand each other and come to agreement. All my knowledge and insights that I transmit to you come from the other side. Before I go, I want to make it clear that I do not consider myself to be any kind of spiritual savior. I am just a normal, simple human who wants to help and share with others what I have experienced and learned on the other side. I hope deep inside that it will enrich your life in the same way it has enriched mine and many others. Many have asked me how I could experience all that I did in eight minutes on the other side when I was declared dead. I released my body temporarily for an experience and an astral journey in timelessness. Time here on Earth is measured in a linear system, from one point to another, thereby obtaining a definite time interval. This is what we call time. On the other side, time is not measured as we do. One lives in and through different conditions of vibrations. I did not measure knowledge and experience as I do here. I went into and experienced different vibrational conditions, which together gave me an instantaneous intuition about all that is and is not. In this pure divine condition, we all have access to everything. As much as one does not measure time, but only reaches different high vibrational conditions, it is therefore irrelevant to measure the question of seconds or minutes in order to obtain such knowledge. Here on Earth, I would need several months or perhaps several years to understand. The most important and interesting thing for me is not to report on how long I was on the other side. The most important thing is that I have opened a contact that I now carry with me all the time.